So my screwball moment is uh, the Ten Cent Beer Night, which is a terrible promotion put on by the, oh, wow. the Cleveland Indians in the Cleveland Stadium on June 4th, 1974. Uh, Indians versus the Texas Rangers. This game was following apparently a, a really heated battle they had a few weeks earlier where there actually was like a brawl that <laughs> ended up uh, having a lot a of players for hurt. The brawl for all in Texas. The Texas Tornado <laughs> Brawl. Oh, I don't my know. Lord. They didn't, they didn't have a name for that brawl apparently, but it looked pretty vicious when I saw the highlights. Um, so apparently Billy Martin, who was the, the manager of the Rangers at the time, said he wasn't worried about the Cleveland fans because the attendance was so bad at the time. Like that's why they were doing the, the 10 cent promotion. Which I mean, you're trying to get fans in the stadium. It's, yeah, cheap beer is going to really do the job. So I mean, the fans were they obviously wanted to draw more fans, which they did. Um, so they came up with stupid ten cent beer night. Uh, the fans were pretty rowdy that that night. Uh, obviously, they're all yeah, drunk. Obviously, <laughs> they, they ran across the field. They danced on the Rangers dugout. They threw hot dogs at the Ranger players. Even a woman, the famous photo of a woman who got onto the field and, and flashed her bird, flashed her tits. That's the that's the Rangers players. <laughs> And then, like, the bottom, the bottom of the ninth is he went straight to hell. Like, a, a drunken fan ran onto the field, and he stole one of the Rangers' uh, ball caps. And then the, the Ranger player tried to get, get it away, um, get it back. And the, the, the guy, the drunken guy, was running away from him, and he fell. And then that Ranger outfielder just, like, stomped a muddle, and I'm like, good old Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, my <laughs> He goodness. took his hat back. Wild night, then, wild night. Can you imagine that guy? Like, heck, this guy runs on the field, steals your hat, and you just, beat the tar out of him, take your hat back and walk away. And then obviously the rest of the fans ran out to the field after this, throwing bottles, fighting security was outnumbered. They even they called the SWAT team in for this. Like, holy moly. Like the SWAT team for a baseball game. So ridiculous. The Indians ended up forfeiting the game. Like uh, one of the worst screwball moments of all time. Honestly, one of the worst promotions in history of promotions. One of the most infamous baseball owners in history. Uh, Jeffrey Loria and his management of the Montreal Expos. Oh, our good old friend Jeffrey Loria. Good old Jeffrey Loria. Uh, the Scott was, Boris uh, of MLB owners. <laughs> <laughs> the devil himself. Oh my goodness! Uh, I tell you, when I was reading all his uh, all his biography, like my goodness, uh, this man. Uh, he originally purchased a minority stake in the Montreal Expos in 1999 for 50 million dollars then later became majority owner, and this is where his trail of disaster uh, would start, um, would, would begin that led to the Expo's demise. Uh, Loria planned uh, to build a new ballpark in downtown Montreal to be called the Bat Park. Uh, at first, the city wanted no part of the building, the new building project, uh, because the Olympic Stadium was still, uh, still heavily in debt from the 1976 Summer Olympics. Uh, eventually, the city began to show interest. So, you know, they had a design laid out. They had public and private uh, financing. Uh, and the ballpark was slated to be open in 2002. Uh, unfortunately, Loria had to, uh, you know, open his big mouth and demanded that the city uh, pay a higher percentage for the project, which made the city furious. And ultimately, they, the project got canceled. Uh, Loria uh, later would sell the Expos to Major League Baseball and went on to buy the Florida Marlins. And, uh, uh, and to uh, add insult to injury, he dissected the Expos even further uh, by moving the entire front office uh, and on-field staff uh, and office and uh, computer equipment down to Florida. Why? Uh, leaving the Expos <laughs> in, in, in shambles, and uh, they were also a uh, part of uh, the part of uh, two, the two teams uh, being contracted by Major League Baseball, which ultimately failed. Uh, the Expos in later years didn't really have good seasons. Uh, they split their home games in Puerto Rico uh, because of the dwindling attendance in Montreal. And that was basically it. Like, ap after that, they relocated to Washington and are now the Nationals. Wow, what a great screwball himself. <laughs> yeah, Laurie, Everything he yeah, touches turns into a screwball moment. Yeah, Loria was also not a, not a big uh, friend to the Marlins franchise as well. 